Hi everyone and welcome to Biology Professor. Today we're talking about calculations with signed numbers. What are signed numbers, you might ask? This refers to numbers that are positive and numbers that are negative. You might also ask, why is learning calculations with signed numbers important for the field of biology? Well, it turns out it's important for several different scientific fields, biology, chemistry, physics, etc., and that is because there's a lot of math in these scientific fields. Places in biology where you might use calculations with signed numbers include converting between different temperature scales, like converting between Fahrenheit and Celsius or back again, and also doing other calculations, like calculations with specific heat. Now let's look at multiplication and division of signed numbers. When both of the numbers being multiplied or divided are positive, that makes the answer pretty straightforward. For example, we know that 2 times 4 equals 8, and 14 divided by 2 equals 7. This is because when you have two positive numbers being multiplied or divided, the answer is also positive. However, when you have one of the numbers being positive and one of the numbers being negative, the answer is negative. That is, 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. Negative 8 divided by 4 is negative 2. Negative 4 times 5 is negative 20. And 18 divided by negative 3 is negative 6. So you see in all of these cases, you have one positive number and one negative number being multiplied or divided, and the answer is negative. It does not matter which of these numbers is positive or negative. Now, when both numbers being multiplied or both numbers being divided are negative, the answer is positive. That is, negative 3 times negative 4 is a positive 12, and negative 20 divided by negative 5 is a positive 4. So you can remember this by thinking that whenever the two numbers being multiplied or divided have the same sign, the answer will be positive. It doesn't matter if it's two positives or two negatives, the answer will be positive. Whenever the numbers being multiplied or divided have different signs, then the answer will be negative. So that is multiplication and division with signed numbers. Now let's look at the rules for addition and subtraction. Again, when both numbers are positive, it's fairly straightforward. 2 plus 3 equals 5, and 4 minus 1 equals 3. Again, we have positive numbers being added or subtracted. The answer is positive. It gets a little bit more complicated when one of those numbers is negative, however. What you can do whenever you have a situation like this, 2 plus a negative 4, you can actually rewrite it to be 2 minus 4. 2 minus 4 is the same as 2 plus a negative 4, and the answer is negative 2. We see the same thing here. Negative 5 plus a negative 4. You can rewrite this to be negative 5 minus 4, which equals negative 9. Now, it's a little easier when the center number is just a positive and the number being added is a positive. Like negative 6 plus 1 becomes negative 5. I do want to point out something special here, and that is that in all of these cases, the answer has the same sign as the larger number. So we look here, the larger number is positive, the answer is positive. The larger number is negative, the answer is negative. The larger number is negative, the answer is negative. And here both numbers are negative, so of course we have a negative answer. With subtraction, you can also, whenever it's minus a negative, minus a negative, like we see in two of these situations, you can actually turn them into pluses. So for example, 6 minus a negative 2 can be written as 6 plus 2, which equals 8. And negative 7 minus a negative 3 can be rewritten as negative 7 plus 3, which equals negative 4. Again, a little easier when there's just a minus a plus in the middle, negative 5 minus 2 equals negative 7. And again, we see that same rule holds true. 
in addition and subtraction, whatever the sign of the largest number is, the sign of the answer will be the same. Here, the largest number is positive, the answer is positive. Here, the largest number was positive, the answer is positive. In both of these cases, the larger number was negative, and so the answer is negative. So that is how you do calculations with signed numbers. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.